Okay, I'm going to show you this kickoff here that Don does on just one teardrop and one step away. And it's in the key of C, so we're going to start out here in your F position C. And the kickoff starts in F position C. We're going to move up to your barred position G, to your F position G, to your D position G, and back to your F position C, and then your D position C at the end. So we're jumping around quite a bit, um, and it's a, it's a tricky little kickoff. And it's all going to be brush, uh, brush work, which I mean I'm brushing down with my thumb on two strings at a time using double stops. Uh, also uh, muting the bridge back here with the palm of your hand here, the back of your hand. So we're going to start out right here in your F position C on the first and second strings. It's right out of your C chord. And we're going to brush that twice. Grab this note here on your 10th fret on the 2nd string. And then we're going to brush the 2nd uh, uh, and 1st strings open. And then come down on your 11th fret. Uh, double stops on your 2nd and 1st string. And then open again. Back down on your 11th fret and slide into your 12th. So, sounds like that. Okay, now Don adds these little uh, brushes of open strings in between double stops to give the song a little hop to it. That's what it gives it that little um, the hop in the beginning, like that. All right, and then we're going to brush that twelfth fret uh, on the second and first strings again. Back to your eleventh um, fret, and then back to the twelfth again. So. slide into we're still on the second and first the second and first strings we're going to slide into this F position G down here on the second and first strings so we're going to slide into that and what I'm doing is I'm just walking through this F position G with the same type lick you would do in I know you're married slow for you. I'm just grabbing this note here, laying my finger flat across the second and third strings, back to here, reforming your G chord. So we just end up on the fourth and third strings of your G chord. So we end up on that fourth and third string and we're going to slide back down at that point to your D position G. So it sounds like this. You want to get that slide in there. So we're coming down here to your D position G. Now we're going to do double stops on your third and second string. And uh, so we're just going to be playing here, playing this partial G here, if you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to brush that. And then we're going to come over here and grab this note on your ninth fret on your third string and back to that G chord again. It's just right out of your G, G chord in the middle, your third and second strings. Okay. And then we're gonna slide into from the ninth to 10th fret on your third and second strings. We're grabbing this partial F chord. Okay. come back to this partial C chord just on the third and second strings and then another open uh, string note or, or brush it's your third and second strings then we're going to grab this partial B flat it's right out of your B flat If you notice how my hand is right here, my pinky's already in place, 
to grab this uh, note on the fourth string on the ninth fret. When I hit, okay, you can see what I'm doing there. And these notes are right out of your G chord because this part is all in G. We're in G at this point, so um, basically we're just playing off these double stops in the G chord. I'm grabbing this note on the ninth fret on the fourth string and the seventh fret on the third string. So it's just right out of your G chord. All right. All right. When I hit that partial G chord on the fourth and third strings, we're going to slide up to your C chord on the fourth and third strings. We're going back to this F position C that we talked about. So it sounds like this. You're sliding into it. All right. All right. When we slide into this C, we're going to back it up and slide back into that C. So. got to get that little slide in there. Actually, it's not a slide. I'm actually just moving the position back and hitting it. Uh, still brushing. That's all we're doing. This whole break is just brush work. Okay. Let me do this from... Let's do all of it up to this point. Oh, let me try that again. I'm sliding up to your C position here, your D position, your D position C chord. Sliding up on the fourth string, right into your D position C, and then we're just doing a little walk down like you would normally do in any chord, you know. You know. All right, so we're in this C position, and that's what we're doing. Then we end up back on your G chord on the kickoff. All right, let me try to play that all the way through again. Uh, it's hard to play slow, but um, we'll see if I can get through it. Okay. And that is the kickoff to just one teardrop and one step away. Okay, now I'm going to show you this uh, little half break that Don does. Um, he takes the second half of the fiddle break, and the only difference really in this break and the kickoff is the beginning, um, how he gets into the break. In the kickoff, we're starting in C and we're moving to G. Here, we're already in G because, like I said, it's the second half of the fiddle break and the chords have already changed to G. And Don is going to do this little, he does this little walk up that he does in a lot of songs. <laughs> Okay, and if you studied the Reno Roadmap video I did, you should be familiar with this little walk-up. Uh, he does this a lot. It's stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't change you if I could. Stuff like that. So anyway, uh, you're probably familiar with this, but we'll go over it. It's just a little walk-up, your third and second strings. Uh, on the 12th fret, I'm laying my finger flat across. Again, remember to um, mute your bridge with the back of your hand here. Um, it's all brush work, just like the kickoff. So I'm brushing the 3rd and 2nd strings on the 12th fret. Coming back here to the 10th, 
on the second and first string, still mashing my fingers flat across, and just walking it straight up to your 12th fret. And then we're going to uh, strum the strings open again, brush the strings open, and back to your 11th fret, and then open again to your 12th. So it sounds like this. Okay. And then we're going to slide into... Um, your F position G up here, just like we did on the kickoff. The rest of it's pretty much like the kickoff. So, all right. Now, when we get to the C, all right. Don does a little something different here than he does on the kickoff. Um, Sliding back into that C chord on the fourth and third strings like the kickoff, and then we're going to back it up like he did before. But here we're going to stay in this C position, and it's a little tricky thing here. He's doing uh, it's still the C position. We're going to be on the third and second strings in your C chord, and he's he's doing a slide and then sliding back like that. All right. So, all right, and then he's going to move up to uh, this uh, D position C, and still brushing. All right, we're just brushing down through that C chord. Now on the third and second strings, grab this note, back to that and then the bottom two strings, so. Okay, let me see if I can play that whole break here. It's tricky to do. That little slide in there is really tricky. It's a little tricky, like I said, um, and don't stick to just the way I showed you. Um, Don never played it the same way again. Um, I've got several versions of him playing it live, and he does it different every time. So, But this will give you the general idea of what he's doing. And um, like I said, once you get the basics down of it, get this timing right on a lot of these things. Uh, the, the Phrasing is key on this break, um, especially the... Pausing a little bit there. Pausing a little bit there. So. Okay, it's very tricky. Um, but uh, with practice, you'll get it. And like I said, uh, experiment with it. It's one of Don's greatest kickoffs. And um, I hope that helps.